fellow Star Wars fans, it's an incredibly special day here at Etten Games as we start our Star Wars Unlimited pre-release tonight at 7pm. Uh, I am going to be helping Lee to learn to play, so that way we can learn how to play this awesome game, how to build decks, how to just have fun with it. Uh, if you attend, you get an exclusive location card promo, helps add resources to your game. But for now, we're actually just going to be touring the pre-release kits. I have been super excited about this game. It looks like it has all original art, there's fancy different printings, and the mechanics themselves of the game are incredibly fun. So let's go ahead and start our tour of the box. This is the first set they're releasing, Spark of Rebellion. It comes with a cool little deck box. It is a paper deck box, but the art on it is actually gorgeous. Uh, kind of like better than what I'd expect, honestly, like especially with the paper divider. We get our exclusive leader cards. This is one of the first cards you will need in order to construct a deck. It comes with a Darth Vader or a Luke Skywalker leader card in beautiful hollow foil. The other sides are non-foil. We're going to set those up here. So that way we can decide if we're going to be light side or dark side. Leave your vote in the comments. But you also get six booster packs in order to build a deck with. A token sheet with your initiative and your damage tokens. And quick start rules. So you'll notice that it actually has a few different aspects. This is actually really cool. So you can either, if your location card or your leader card matches the aspects that you want to play, like for example, this is going to be heroism, vigilance, and cunning. So long as my cards match those symbols, I can play them for their raw resource cost. If they do not match my symbol, I have to pay an extra two. So no card you have, or no card you pull, for rather, is a dead card. Rather, it just depends on if you can discount them or not. So let's go ahead and open our first pack. This is super exciting for me. Oh, beautiful paper foil. Oh, we start with Chewbacca. Oh, that is awesome. So we've got Chewbacca, the Underworld Wookiee, walking carpet. It is a leader unit. We get the Administrator's Tower with a shield. We get a Death Trooper, Cantina Braggart, Vanguard Infantry, Alliance X-Wing, Repair, Snow Trooper Lieutenant, Mining Guild TIE Fighter, Willful Insurgent, Corellian Freighter, Outmaneuver, General Tag, Zeb Aurelius, a Jetta City, and a Foil Battlefield Marine. Now the art in these sets are absolutely gorgeous. It looks like it's all done specifically for this set. No, no movie stills yet, as some games have had. We've got Grand Moff Tarkin. Capital City of Lothal. Ooh, we're accidentally showing the back there. Wonder what it is. We got a Wampa. Super Laser Technician. Cloud City Wingard. Spec Force Soldier. Steadfast Battalion. Cargo Juggernaut. Confiscate, Surprise Strike, Cell Block Guard, Protector Upgrade, Chewbacca, and it looks like, yep, this is the unit Chewbacca. Prepare for Takeoff, The Spark of Rebellion, and a Foil Greedo. Alrighty. Pack 3. So we got Han Solo, aka Who Shot First, Audacious Smuggler, and we got Kestro City. We got Keep Fighting, Escort Skiff, Vigilant Honor Guards, Jetta Agitator, Alliance Dispatcher, Snow Speeder, ISB Agent, Corellian Fighter, Outer Rim Headhunter, Power Failure. Power of the Dark Side. General Dodonna, Lando Calrissian, and a Foil Confiscate. Pack number four. 
I wonder if we'll be getting an alternate art in this one, or if we're going to just get the normal cards. Either way, it's super exciting. I'm already seeing a lot of yellow, so I think we'd be playing a good cunning deck here. We've got Director Krennic. Echo Base. Oh, let's, let's sort these aside real quick. Regional Sympathizers. Gorilla Attack Pod. Patrolling V-Wing. Vanquish, Occupier Siege Tank, Azatuck Liberator Gunship, Underworld Thug, Crafty Smuggler, a 7th Fleet Defender, and it looks like this is the full art, or the hyperspace art, that's so cool. Yep, I believe it is, because it doesn't have the normal item number on there, so cool, we actually got a hyperspace art. Shoot First, Bright Hope, Force Choke. Cunning and Fallen Lightsaber. Oh, that is gorgeous. Alrighty. Pack number five. We've got one of my favorite droids, IG-88. Chopper Base. Scout Bike Pursuer. Ardent Sympathizer. Regional Sympathizers. Patrolling V-Wing, Moment of Peace, Occupier Siege Tank, a Thai LN Fighter, Wele, Azatok Liberator Gunship, Ezra Bridger, Connell Yulorin, Benthic Two Tubes, I Had No Choice, and a Foil Mining Guild Thai Fighter. On to the last pack. We already got one hyperspace. So we got Boba Fett, Echo Base, we've got a Jetta Agitator, Alliance Dispatcher, Snow Speeder, Resilient, Death Star Stormtrooper, Academy Training, Corellian Freighter, Outer Rim Headhunter, Gamorian Guards, a Blizzard Assault ATAT, -AT, Sabine Wren, Entrenched, Han Solo, the unit, and a foil full art Jetta agitator. That is gorgeous. Looks like we struck gold twice. We got two full arts in one pre-release kit. Talk about that luck. Now, if you'd like to know how to use these cards or get your hands on some of them yourself, you can always come over to Etten Games and Umble. At seven o'clock, we'll be doing our Star Wars Unlimited pre-release. We hope to see you there.